Now at 10 o'clock, learning more about sharks could soon be a reality for a lab at Cal State Long Beach. Well, tonight, researchers are one step closer, they say, to, making, to getting rather major funding to help protect you from shark attacks. Yeah, a bill to make it happen has passed the legislature, and KCAL 9's Orange County reporter Stacy Butler is live in Newport Beach tonight with that story. Stacy. Well, Susie and Jeff, longtime shark scientists at Cal State Long Beach told me tonight if this funding goes through, it will be a game changer. It will be the first time that lifeguards on beaches like this one will have real time information about where the sharks are and what they're doing so they can warn you before there's an attack. The more we learn about sharks, the safer people can be. You may think the more you avoid sharks, the safer you can be. But Dr. Chris Lowe, who has tagged, tracked, and studied countless great whites along the Southern California coast, says as long as great whites and people share the ocean, knowledge is the best defense. And now he's waiting for Governor Jerry Brown to sign a new bill that would give his researchers at the renowned shark lab at Cal State Long Beach almost $4 million to study great whites. We need to know about where they're going and where they're spending their time. Lowe says the new funding is needed, so his team can place acoustic tags on a lot more great whites. As it stands, there are 120 underwater listening stations from San Diego to San Luis Obispo tracking sharks. So when the shark swims within 300 yards of receiver, it logs the time, the date, and the ID number. The problem with that technology is someone has to go out and dive into the water, pick it up, and download it. But it can take weeks to get that info back. But the new funding will enable lifeguards to find out a shark's location in real time. And when it detects a shark, it sends the information to the cloud. And then the lifeguards get an email alert saying a shark was just detected at this location. Soon, when more sharks are tagged, it will become an early warning system. The new funding will also mean new software using drones for lifeguards to watch from their towers. And also, helicopter pilots will record sightings with a new cell phone app that will immediately go into the cloud. And soon, these will be in the ocean, robots, to map food sources and water temperatures, to reveal what draws sharks when and why. Some swimmers say they'll just take their chances. I think that they could be anywhere. So whether there's a setting in a certain beach or not, I think anywhere you go, there's a possibility. So even if you return to the same beach, there's a sighting. There's still a possibility. So would you go in? I would go in. The governor still has to sign the budget. Lowe is crossing his fingers that this funding will go through, hopefully, next month.